Welcome back to the Johnny's Pizza House Friday Night Blitz presented by Car Giant Auto Group. Thanks for hanging out with us. John Sartori, Wesley Boone. Wesley, where's the iPad? Having a good time. I, it's a mystery. It's gone. We'll find it later. Don't Did worry about it. you say the iPad's having a good time? The iPad's having a great time. It's on break. It's <laughs> yeah, been, right. It's been working hard tonight. All right, All right. Let's, let's take a look at some more highlights now. Washita Parish and Airline. First game on that beautiful new turf over at Airline. Actually, this is the game of the week. This is the game of the week. This is the JJ's Bargain Bar. Game of the week. Landry Liddy finding Aubrey Hermes for the score. It's 6 0 Cavaliers. Landry Liddy, he doesn't know how he does it. Slow motion, Landry Liddy there. Cavs led 20 0, but the Logan Sport Tigers fighting back, literally. They are going to. You can't do that. You can't no, do that. you can't, but you can do this. Well, you can't if you're Calvary. You can't if you're Logan Sport. They block the punt, they're pumped up. And they answer. Touchdown, Tigers, 20 to 12 at the break. But it's a ball man, game. It, it is, and you got to give Logan Sport credit. One day of practice, we'll get, we'll have more on that in just a few moments. But Calvary pulls away in the second half, 47 to 12. They get the win in our JJ's Bargain Barn game of the week. 47 to 12 is our final from Logan Sport. The Calvary Cavaliers, really good second half. Bit of a sloppy first half, but they get the job done. Sam Rothman, she was there tonight. She's got more from this game. Let's go to her now. With six minutes left in the first half, the Calvary Cavaliers led the Logan Sport Tigers 20 to nothing. Before halftime, the Tigers managed to score two touchdowns and sack Cavs quarterback Landry Liddy twice, shifting the momentum in their favor. And even though Calvary dominated the second half, eventually picking up the 47 to 12 win, Tigers head coach Kevin McGee couldn't be prouder of his team's resilience. We got them on their heels. We flipped the script. Just the character, you know, we kept fighting. It would have been easy at 20, 20 to nothing with three easy scores to drop their head and go, you know, let's just get through the game. We kept fighting. We kept dropping the ball down. We kept making plays, you know, defensively we're scratching, fighting, every clawing every play. Uh, and, and that's heart. And, and, that's, and that's kids that love to play and, and are appreciative to be out here. On the other side, even though Calvary picked up the win, head coach Rodney Guin wasn't too happy about that second quarter slip. We got to play better than tonight. You know, we, we, we didn't play well tonight. A lot of our stuff self-inflicted. I mean, you know, we, we got a punt blocked and, you know, we got penalty after penalty after penalty on offense. You know, and I told them at halftime, we'll find out what you're made of. You know, you can either fold it up right here and get beat or we can come out and play. And, you know, we got a big stop on defense to start the half and the offense kicked it in and, uh, you know, it was good. We had a pretty sloppy uh, second quarter, but I mean, to, to see the guys bounce back and to, to see the senior leader step up, it, it was a big deal. It's definitely something to learn from. We weren't down, but but the, the momentum was definitely over there, so to bounce back was huge. And the Tigers came into this one with only one full practice. That's because a positive COVID-19 case kept the team sidelines all of last week. They were able to practice early this week, but they were limited to no contact. They were able to have one full padded practice, but it's a pretty tough test when you're taking on the defending Division Four state champs. Reporting in Logan Sport, I'm Sam Rothman. Thanks, Sam. And we are going to go to some more games. Gilmer rolled in week one, taking on Henderson in week two. First quarter, he Gilmer's ball. Brandon Tennyson takes the snap, finds Rohan Fluellen, who what flies away for the touchdown. It's an elegant last name. I said it in an elegant way. Gilmer's ball again. I Ashton don't like Haynes. that. Well, that's all right. You I don't, don't have to like it. Flag people running with the flags. Ashton Haynes now takes the handoff. Haynes cuts. He's in for a good old-fashioned touchdown. Those jump. flag people have gotten a lot of air time. And they've gotten a lot of work in this game. Henderson's ball, Jacoby That's Robinson very takes good the transition. snap, hands it to Dallas Alexander. Ball on the uh, ground. Number three, Robinson. Look at him. Look at the strike. He's That's a hold. He's That's like, a hold on 17. He's 85% legs. Look at those legs That's go. That's what I love about this part of the show is I'm noticing penalties that weren't called. There you go. Lions ball this time. It's Robinson finding Jamal Robinson in the end zone for a Henderson touchdown. Despite that score, all Gilmer in this one. Yeah, 42 to 14. I believe that's the score there. So Gilmer, 2 and 0, looking really good. Looking really good. Let's talk about that game of the week, Leslie. I guess we can. Our J and J's Bargain Barn game of the week. We had Calvary and Logan Sport. Now, Logan Sport. Well, look, Landry Liddy picked up exactly where he left yeah. off last year, 420 yards, five touchdowns. His favorite target, 
He lost Joseph Wilson to yep. Southeastern, all alma mater. Yep. Who was going to step up in this place? Aubrey Hermes, yep. 223 yards, three touchdowns. Coach Gewen, kind of angry about the second quarter, but yeah. coming out of the gate, scoring 40-something points against a good Logansport team, you got to feel pretty good about it. A yourself. good team, but we, we talked about it. We said, how is this Logansport team going to come out? One practice because of COVID, how do you perform against arguably the, the best team in Louisiana? I mean, they, Calvary's loaded. I mean, there's no, there's no ifs and buts about it. Landry Liddy and that receiving core and that defense – and give Logansport credit, you know, down 20 to nothing, the way they battled back and made it a game at halftime. Logansport, you know, talk about moral well, victories. Well, well, but I think yeah. if, if you've got an example of one tonight, it was it. Let's see what the Tigers look like with more than one practice under their right, belt. Right, right. You know, new quarterback yep. this year. And I think they, they look pretty good considering the circumstances. So, really good game of the week. You know, happy happy Sam got a good one this week. She got a good one. Got a good one. So it's gonna be well, fun to follow both of those teams throughout yes, the rest of the yes. season. Yes, and if you'd like to see your school have a chance to be our J and J's bargain barn game of the week, voting begins tomorrow. It'll be on our Twitter page at KTAL Sports. We'll have four games for you to choose from. You decide who we get to see in our J and J's bargain barn game of the week for week three of the Friday Night Blitz. Let's go to some more games. Let's do it. Washita Parish and Airline. First game on that beautiful new turf. We're excited about it. The Lions in the third quarter punch it in here from the one yard line. That's that's effort right there. And then, or actually, I think he was down at the one. That would make sense because then he falls forward for the end, for the touchdown. And the Lions find Pater. Preston Dorner. Tough to follow a guy like Alex Garcia for quarterback at Airline. He is tasked with that. He's going to take the snap here. And throw this one out. Nice ball. Good, good touch on it over the defender. Airline, they've got a touchdown. Ooh. Well, no. No, they don't. They don't have Ugh. a touchdown because you've got a flag. There oh, it is. Those are the worst. Nice story being told with the pictures there. 20 to 3. Airline. Still has yet to score an official touchdown on that brand new turf. 20 to 3. They fall to Washita Parish tonight. All right. Let's go to some uh, some more games. This was an intriguing matchup. You've got Washita Christian, 40 Southwood nothing. Southwood obviously 5A school. Washita Christian, a powerhouse, but a small school. Something had to give. Washita Christian gets the win. Joaquin and Elysian Fields. Last score I had for that was Elysian Fields 8, Joaquin 0. Oh. Heading into the second Joaquin's half. had tough, or no, they scored 39 yeah, They scored, they scored some thinking, points last yeah, week. So they scored some points. Joaquin. See if they could uh, come back. Let's go to Arkansas. Ashdown go. looking to go 2 0 there at home against DeQueen. Ashdown snaps the ball. That's Alex Kilback. He's going to find Jaden Fricks. Fricks, he's tackled hard. However, Ashdown, they get another shot here. My goodness, same duo. Fricks. Love that Ashdown helmet. Showing the moves there. DeQueen. This trying is to not make what some you want to do. Garrett Matthews, my goodness. Yeah, that's he not swarmed great. the purple people eaters. That's incredible. Did you just there. come up with that? I, I did not. Ash down. Oh. Look for Shamar Easter. We said his name a lot last year. Man, Carrying I can't wait to watch him there. this year. He's going to be fun to watch. Final score in that one. And I guess it's not there. Arkansas. Let's take some more looks at some scores from Arkansas. Oh. And no, let's go to Union Parish taking on Manny. My goodness. What a matchup to start yeah, the this season. Is awesome. Opening kickoff, that's Trent Meeking. Meeking has some running room, but the ball pops out. Not Tigers what you recover. Want to do. And Manny, they get right to work. Manny wasting no time making the farmers pay. London Williams. London Bridge. 11 yards to pay dirt. 6 0 Tigers over the 3 A runners up from a year ago. Just keep feeding the beast. Two point try, two point try. Good. More two London. great helmets. This time, getting some air gets in for two. It's 8 nothing Tigers. Tigers pulling out all the stops early in this one. Fourth down in their own territory. We got ourselves a fake punt. Tackett Curtis takes it himself for 30-plus yards. Tigers couldn't convert that into points, though. What a game over in Manny. Union Parish, though. They pull out the 42-32 win. Look at this play right here. I don't know he, if you saw he that. He grabbed the ball. He fumbled the snap, <laughs> picked it up with one hand, and turned it into a 12-yard gain. Not a lot of players can do that. All but right. Tackett Curtis isn't a lot of players. He's not. Let's take a look at some other scores from around the area. Evangel. Oh, Evangel man. trying to hold on against Mansfield tonight. 
looking very competitive under their legendary and that's what's coaching important. staff. Uh, that's exactly it, what's it, important. It, it, that was the struggle last year for them. They fall 28 to 23 to Mansfield and then Lakeside 39 to nothing over Magnolia. Some more scores now. Haynesville, tough 2020. It continues into 2021 in week one. They fall to North Webster. And Diamante Johnson, one of the best people in the Arklatex. Congratulations, coach. Just people in general. Wow, all right. He, he's a great, great guy. All right. He's a, you haven't met him. Yet. I haven't met him. I'm excited well, to meet him. Diamante Johnson, he's building something special at Bozier. First career win for Coach Johnson, 36-12 over Arcadia. Special things happening on Bearcat Drive. All right, Red River with new head coach, with a new head coach. Who taken. saw this game uh, right? playing out like it did? Well, My if, if goodness. this is your first time seeing the highlights, this is exactly how it played out. First play of the game, John Eco takes this pass from Colin Raines, the distance. Hot, feeling good, right? We're up 7 0. There's only been one play. Let's go, says Colin Raines. Well, you're not feeling very good for long because Quintarius Lewis is doing the same thing for Red River. He takes it to the house. Again, another, another red school with no red in their uniform. What are we doing? You, so anyway, hot now. On the other end, it's Reigns again. I can't wait to see his final stat line from this game because Houghton put up 55 Look, big ones. Talking to Coach Brotherton, you know, last year he said, hey, we tried to make things a little bit easier for Colin. He said, this year, Colin can do it all. Man, and he showed it tonight. 55-49. Red River, they're going to be tough. Hanging tough with Houghton. Houghton, they are 1-0, though. They get the win, 55-49. All righty, more football. Wow, I liked that. That was a little crazy there. Harmony taking on Hugh Springs. Wait second till you quarter see this now. Hugh Springs offense. Oh, that's a shot right there. Evan Weber got popped. All right, now watch this quarterback. Patrick Boyd now. Boyd making people miss. My goodness, Boyd. Look Stiff how big arm. he is. And then watch this fullback. Good luck, Hugh Springs. Good luck bringing Boyd down. No, good, tough there. good luck Looked bringing tough. this guy down. Trevor Bolden, you mean? Yes. Look how Trevor Bolden. Trevor Bolden. 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 Bolden over people. That's a big man. Get out of his way. My goodness. That's what Harmony did. Uh, I believe that is exactly what they did. Harmony, Hugh Springs. Good game there tonight. Yep. Good, Not sure good what the solid game. Is there. <laughs> All right, Peckville. They take down Harleton 46. The Bearcats are 2 0, Wes. Yeah, they take down Look Harleton 46 to 22. All right, a game I was at, Green Oaks, starting the Chadwick Lewis era against Carroll tonight. That's my middle name, Carroll. Wow. Yeah, just putting that out there. Like, it took you, like, a long time before you told me that. You well, just here's, told here's everyone the great the thing. No one knows if I'm telling the truth. All right, so That's Green Oaks, the they recover the fumble here. But watch this play, Wesley. Boom. Oh. <laughs> and he keeps running. Carroll all over the Giants tonight. As uh, this was a good representation of how things went. Carroll recovers the fumble on the strip sack. And then we've got a run to the end zone. Amaria Greeley finds the pylon. It's all Carroll tonight. Tough start for Green Oaks. 45 0. Carroll goes on the road and blanks the Giants. Our Oklahoma scores tonight. We got two of them. Idabel had a huge win over Foreman in week one. They fall tonight to Kingston 16 to 7. And the Valiant Bulldogs, they are 39 7. Incredible. Incredible. More games or not. No more games. I guess we'll find out. We'll see what happens. When we see us on the screen. So I guess not. No more games. All right. I mean, uh, for, for now. For there's now, more games. Yeah, there's more games. Yeah. And a lot of other stuff. We've got plays of the week coming up soon. Got a recap of our game of the week. Yep. It's all coming up next.